Hi everyone, it's Fab here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about shoes. Oh my god, shoes. I'm going to be sharing with you eight quintessentially preppy shoes to complete your outfits because if we're going to be preppy, we may as well be preppy from head to toe. The first preppy shoes on the list are boat shoes, specifically the Sperry Topsider boat shoes. These are probably the most well-known and most worn boat shoes. Boat shoes are definitely a part of that New England prep start uniform. You know, when I think New England preppy, I'm thinking yachting, I'm thinking boating, bit of a nautical vibe going on. So the boat shoes definitely fit in with that whole aesthetic. The shoes were first created in the 1930s in Connecticut and as the name suggests they are a boating shoe so they're very practical. They have a rubber sole so you're not slipping on water when you're out on your yacht. Boat shoes are a very classic and casual shoe for men, specifically a brown boat shoe. It always just looks nice on a man and they're a great casual shoe for women as well. You can get so many different feminine colors and patterns. They also have a more feminine cut of the boat shoe for women. They're more of a loafer style which we'll get to the loafers in a second. I do believe though you can't really go past that classic top sider cut of boat shoe. Boat shoes always remind me of my mom. She loves to wear them. She has so many different colors and patterns to go with all her outfits. It's definitely her signature shoe. And they're just a great comfortable and practical summer shoe, but they're also very put together looking. When styling a boat shoe, I do like to go for that coastal theme. So I've got on this white fitted t-shirt, these seersucker shorts, and I'm completing the look with the boat shoes. The next pre shoe to own is a classic pair of loafers. There are tons of different styles and makes of loafers and they actually started as a hybrid shoe between casual and business style. So you can get loafers that are more on the casual side. You can get some really nice lush velvet ones. They're a bit like a house slipper but then you can get some more dressed up leather loafers. Like the boat shoes they're a great shoe for men and for women. A very popular preppy style of loafer is the penny loafer and these give a real academic vibe. Back in the day, penny loafers were pretty much exclusively worn with socks, but as time has progressed, as our fashion tastes have changed, most people wear them without socks. I kind of like the sock look though. I feel like we need to bring that back. It's a cute little retro feel. Penny loafers actually got their name because back in the 40s and 50s, American college kids would actually put pennies in the cutouts on the top of their loafers. So if they were out and about and they wanted to buy an ice cream or make a phone call, they had a bit of spare change just sitting in the top of their loafer. These are my pair of loafers. They're from a brand called Sarah Flynn. They're based in New York. They are a gorgeous navy suede color and they always give my outfits a really nice dressed up feel. Sarah Flint was actually kind enough to provide me with a code for you guys. So that will appear somewhere on the screen and that will give you $50 off your first Sarah Flint order. Good luck choosing a pair of shoes on that website because all of them are absolutely gorgeous. But I do have to recommend the loafers. These are the rosy loafers. They have them in a few different colors. And I have to say, I've never taken a shoe out of the box and have it slide onto my foot perfectly like Cinderella and just be the most comfortable shoe. Because you know, shoes like this are normally insanely uncomfortable at first. You kind of have to break them in. But these were comfortable right from the get go. So I definitely recommend them. You guys know I'm all about comfort. If something's uncomfortable, it can get out of my life. <laughs> There's so many outfit options for loafers. I do think they look really cute with just a little dress. They just give a dress a nice, dressed up feel. Next up, going along with that academic vibe, we have the Oxford or the Brogue shoes. Oxford shoes are a flat lace-up shoe. They are normally made out of leather and they normally have a very distinct eyelet design. Because of the name of the shoes, the Oxford shoes, they definitely have a connotation in my mind to British universities, specifically Oxford University, which is where they got their name from. Next up, heading back outdoors to the more outdoor shoes are the duck boots. These are a type of water resistant boot and they were first invented by L.L. Bean back in 1911 in Maine. They were originally made as a hunting boot. I assume Mr. Bean was hunting ducks and he invented them to keep his feet nice and warm and dry out on his hunting trips. L.L. Bean is of course still a brand today and they still make their iconic duck boots. They are all still hand stitched up in Maine. Now I have said in a previous videos that I actually don't know how I feel about duck boots. I don't know if I would personally wear them, but at the same time, never say never. Like I'm a bit divided about them. I don't know how I feel about them. Please let me know in the comments your opinions on duck boots. I feel like we're gonna get some real controversial opinions on the duck boots in the comment section. Yeah, I would love to know how you feel about them. Speaking of waterproof preppy footwear, next up we have the Hunter boot. 
Hunter boots are obviously a rain boot. <laughs> they're a very practical shoe for inclement weather, but they're also super cute. They come in so many different fun colors. There's so many different ways to style hunter boots. I think they look great with a pair of jeans, also skirts, shorts. There's just so many different ways to style them. I actually have a Pinterest board full of hunter boot outfits. So I will leave a link for that in the description box below that you can go check out. I purchased my first pair of hunter boots last year and I decided to go for this beautiful autumn stone color. I believe you can still purchase this color. I don't know, I'm not 100% on that. I think it adds a really nice pop of color to an outfit. I do like to pair it with my Ralph Lauren flag sweater because there's a bit of red in the sweater so it ties in nicely with the boots. The next preppy shoe we have is the ballet flat. Ballet flats tend to come in and out of mainstream fashion fairly often. It seems like everybody's either loving them or they're hating them. But the ballet flat, she's always classic. She's always faithful. She's there in the background. And as we know, preppy fashion is fairly trendless. There are a few little trends that go on, but that's the whole point of preppy style is it's very classic and clean cut. I think that ballet flats always give a very classic and feminine feel to an outfit, but I do think that sometimes they can look a little bit twee and it depends on what you pair them with. I wouldn't put on like a little cute polka dot skater dress with the ballet flats because then you're going to look like Zoe Dachanel very quickly. If that's the look that you're going for, that's fine. But personally, I like to stay away from twee and go more classic. So just be wary of that with the ballet flats because they are a little bit, you know, like they're very girly. In particular, the Tory Burch flat is a very popular shoe in the preppy fashion world. And it is really cute with the Tory Burch logo on the toe. The next shoe is an absolute staple for me in the summertime and that is a pair of Jack Rogers. If you've watched my Jackie Kennedy style guide video you know that Jackie is actually responsible for the creation of the Jack Rogers sandals. She was on vacation in Capri, Italy and she saw a pair of flat leather whip stitch sandals and she loved them so much that she brought them back to Palm Beach and had her local shoemaker make her up a few pairs and from there Jack Rogers was born. I personally think the classic white ones, these are the ones that Jackie had, these are always a great pair to own. These are the pair that I started off with, but you can get tons of other colors. How cute are the gold ones too? Now, yes, you do have to break them in and they aren't exactly the most comfortable shoe to break in, but it's also not as bad as people say it is. People are like, your feet are gonna be messed up and blah, blah. No, I think two to three wears and they're pretty much broken in and then from there they are the most comfortable sandal you will own. The Jack Rogers have the ease of a flip flop and yet they have a very sophisticated and dressed up feel. Also, I do wanna mention that I do take my Jack Rogers when they're new to a local cobbler or shoe repair person and get them to put rubber on the bottom. These are actually straight out of the box. These are new because I wore my old ones literally to death. Well, not literally to death, they're a shoe, but you know, I literally, They'd had it, I'd worn them so much. So these are straight out of the box, they're new babies. And I haven't been yet to put the rubber on the bottom. If you go out without rubber, I mean, they're pretty slippery. And I think they probably last longer if you just go to the local shoe repair place and get them just to, just to glue some rubber on here. Another go-to shoe for me in the warmer months is a pair of classic white sneakers. There is a whole sneaker world out there of Yeezys and Jordans and blah, blah, blah. And that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge about that. I am obviously not in that sphere, but for preppy fashion, a nice streamlined pair of white sneakers, canvas or leather looks great for preppy looks. My pair of white leather sneakers are from Echo and these are like walking on a cloud, but they are so comfortable. They have that bouncy sort of cushiness. These are such a staple for me in the warmer months, along with the Jack Rogers. I love accessorizing with white in summer. I just think it looks nice and bright. And there is my preppy shoe guide. Please let me know in the comments down below what preppy shoes your favorite, what shoes do you love to wear? And also give me opinions on the duck boots. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a like. It would help boost the video out there. So I'm very grateful for all the likes and also consider subscribing to my channel. I've got lots of different videos on preppy fashion on my channel that you might like to check out. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.